Good day, good day, Spartan Willy here, and welcome back to our McLaren Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the third last race of the season, I believe, yeah, in Melbourne. Of course, we have our objective, as you would have seen in the intro, to win this Grand Prix. And um, spoiler alert for last episode, I highly recommend you check that out in three... Two, one. Of course, Daniel Ricciardo picked up a race win last time. So hopefully we can carry that forward into this race. But just before we continue the episode, I just want to say thank you to Andrew, Gabrielle, Joey, and Peter for commenting on the last episode. It's awesome when you guys comment. So make sure to keep leaving comments down below and like and subscribing. Well, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the series you haven't already. That being said, let's get started. All right, so our brakes finished over the race weekend. So we're going to jump straight in and design a new part here. It's going to be another set of brakes, just so we got one for each car. And we're going to go, the risk level doesn't matter because they're for next year. We don't want to get 10, day, uh, 10 more build days or else it will take forever. We want to build a few more parts. So, I mean, it's only going to up by two days, but that's better anyway for the deacceleration, so performance. So that's being built, car repair complete. So now we can improve some parts working on the performance of the engine. I think that's probably the way to go and then we'll work on gearbox and then start working on those new brakes as well. And those brakes are done. I do like brakes because they are so quick to build. It's not even funny. And look at that, one, three, four, seven. Hopefully they are really good. Now it looks like we need another gearbox to really help us in the fight for next year. The cars actually look pretty good. If we wanted to do another season here at McLaren, I actually think we'd have a chance at contending for that title. It's a big statement because those front two teams are so far ahead, but let's just see the current performance level of the gearbox. But yeah, I think with the car that we're building here, it could be a go, but we probably want one in the 1.4s. I don't think we're going to get one in the 1.4s, so maybe we'll keep building something else. So I've decided to build another front wing. Again, it's a quick part. We've only built one of them the entire season, so... It's definitely something that we need to improve on the car. So we've got a well-rounded car. We don't want to have bad race weekends at different tracks. And it looks like that one's that better. So 1380, that's going to be a good front wing. All right, welcome to qualifying. And it's going to be a one-car affair. As you see here, Norris went out in 11th, which I mean... Considering that he's probably going to qualify, what was it, like, I don't know, 10th or 9th? It's not the worst thing. He gets a brand new fresh tyre. Um, but, yeah, anyway, Daniel Ricciardo is going to go out for his runs. He's got a perfect setup. So does Lando. It was just one of those things. Uh, I think he got held up by traffic. He claims, but they make excuses all the time. Doesn't really matter. They were in fifth with Ricciardo behind both Mercedes, a Red Bull, and a Ferrari. Hopefully, we can improve on that a little bit. We're going to make sure that track grip gets as high as possible and look we got to get a race win here for our objectives it'd be great if we could of course we won last time out so we want to try and follow that up um, at least try and keep the podium straight going for sure but fourth place for Ricardo not too bad second row uh, we beat one of the Mercedes but behind you know our Mercedes Ferrari and a Rebel not great but Look, if we play a second season, our car will be much better because we've sort of shifted focus completely to that. Hence why I think Lanto went out, but not by much, only by about a tenth of a second. All right, race day here in Melbourne. My home GP, of course, if you don't know, I'm Australian. And um, I'm gutted that we will, haven't had a Melbourne GP here in years due to COVID, but that is fine. We're here in the game, so, you know, next best thing. Race trim and light footed. You already know how we're doing this, son. Race trim and soft tyres. Eventually, Lando will get light footed and it will be insane. So, all purple setup. We're just going to quickly change his tyres to a fresh set of softs. You love to see it. And of course, Ricardo's on the softs as well. And push, overtake, overtake. Any water on the track? No, it looks like it could be a, it's going to be a dry race all the way through. That's fine, as long as Ricardo can hopefully steal a podium. Hopefully he gets a good start. Slingshots up the grid. Norris had a fantastic start last time out, but here we go. Melbourne GP, Ricardo with decent start. Will be will overtake Verstappen. I know the animation when I see it. Oh no, Verstappen's going to come back at him. Yeah, there it is. Nice slingshot. And now that Mercedes is all over the back of the Ferrari. Verstappen's taking his place back. We're going to... Oh, Lando. We're not going to... Pay attention to that one. Down to 16th. Ouch, that one hurts. Behind Latifi and the Williams. But Ricardo's running well here. Can he make a move down that right side of the Red Bull? He's leaving the inside quite open. But the Mercedes struggling to get past Leclerc. We've got a Mercedes behind us. Well, some way behind us, actually. Which is good. And I love this track. It's an awesome looking track, isn't it? And lots of heels, which is um, 
Yeah, interesting. I think there's like one big side. But here we go down the inside of Red Bull. That, oh, what an overtake on the old teammate. And here we go. Hamilton's next up. Ricardo's looking ra racy today at his home GP. Never won his home race. Can he change that today? Faster slap oh, for a brief second. Then Ocon took it off. Uh, took it off him. I don't know what Norris is celebrating back there. You just get into the swing of the things, mate. You overtook a Williams. Calm down. He's literally in a Williams sandwich. Anyway, that's all right. Everyone's entitled to a slow start. But we're going to speed up this race a little bit now. Hopefully, Ricardo can keep pushing that high position. And we're going to tell him to go on a bit more of a nice, chilled out strategy so he can actually make some gains in this race. Don't want to burn the tires out too early. And what sort of strategy are we going to be on today, do you think? Yeah, one stop. One stop, nice and simple. So we're about six seconds off the lead. Leclerc and Hamilton have pulled away completely, which is unreal. Quite bizarre. And um, tire temperatures looks to be an actual problem this race. But, you know, we'll try and sort it out. All right, lap 22, Ricardo is in the lead. Lando's tires are looking pretty dead. We're going to look to bring him in and put him on the softs. He might be two-stopping. I don't know if we'll be able to make these tires last. We're having to push in these tires to keep them from underheating. They're not overheating on neutral like they usually do. Um, it seems to be a colder track here in Melbourne. But that should be fine. Hopefully, we can make a one-stop work but look i don't think lando's in the best spot anyway maybe a two-stop can help him there's no real point holding on to 14th going conservative is there but ricardo is having a decent race he's still got a pit of course but um hopefully he can hold on to this first place would be amazing to lead pretty much the entire race after the other cars pitted. All right, so we're starting to run into some traffic with Daniel Ricciardo, so we're going to bring him in. And what I've just realized is we could be in with a shot of winning this race because, of course, everyone else is to pit two around us because they don't have light footed. And we've gone two stints, while they, uh, one stint while they've gone two. So, you know, we could be in a shot because we got to pit, everyone else is too. So let's have a look. A good pit stop, please, so he can stay within that pit gap. And then it's up to Ricardo to stay within his pit window. So let's push on these tyres, mate. Try and gain on them. Lando, where... Yeah, he's there. Um, he's just never really recovered from a poor start. His car's not exactly with him. As the teams around us are sort of working on this year's car. We've put full focus on next year, but that's fine. We'll just do what we can with him. But the real focus here is on Daniel Ricardo. He's going to try and maintain that gap. But it's going to be a tough ask because those cars are so much quicker. Even on completely dead tyres, surely they're pitting soon. I mean, yeah, those tyres are absolutely cooked. There's no way. He's staying out for another lap. No, now he's coming in. All right, so we're going to re-inherit the lead of this race, but we'll be able to hold on to it. Those cars are quite quick. Leclerc's staying out. What a madman. He should be coming in now. Yep, all right. Come on, Ricardo. Pass him. Beautiful. Now, what's the gap? Four seconds to Verstappen who's still got to pit. Hopefully, Verstappen holds them up. We don't have much fuel to play with, but we do have a bit of tyre wear, which is fantastic. Um, look, Norris is not going to be able to hold on. Come in for a second stop, mate. We won't completely forget about it. Yeah, don't worry. You probably, I think you've been lapped by Ricardo because you've got lots of fuel. But that's fine. Ricardo pushing on here. Doing very well. Four seconds ahead of Verstappen still. Overheating the tyres a little bit. Look to calm him down a little bit. Um, struggling to overtake Perez. That's a shame. But uh, second place is Hamilton. Second place. Uh-oh. This is not good. I'm getting flashbacks to last week. We will be able to hold on again. I don't think so. In the wet, it was different. But in the dry, I feel like it's a different beast, that Mercedes, to us. He is pushing those tires as well. So I don't know how his tires aren't overheating. I mean, the thing is with Lewis, he can run out of fuel in the last lap again, like he did last time out. So we don't want to be do anything too drastic. Tire temps are low, pushing them a little bit. Lando... And we do have the tyre wear over him, but we don't want to crash. That's the thing. So we're going to look to really push this car to its limits to try and get a home Grand Prix victory for the first time Daniel Ricciardo's uh, career. Get out of the way, blue flag cars. Seriously. But, um, yeah, Hamilton is smashing his tyres. He's got worse tyre wears, but, of course, we got light footed. I keep forgetting about that. And we're keeping him behind, and it's sort of inviting Leclerc into the party because we're losing time squabbling, which is not really what we want because he can pounce on Hamilton running out of fuel on the line as well. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a tight, tight climax to this race. We're going to stop pushing on these tyres because I just don't want to kill them coming into the race, end of this race. And now we're still first place. Six laps to go. It's going to be tight, very tight. We're going to speed ahead. Still six laps. We didn't speed ahead far enough. 
And Hamilton. Oh my days. There was a battle. We missed it. It's okay. It's okay. Keep going. I feel like, is he still pushing on fuel? Yeah, no wonder this guy runs out of fuel. Look how much fuel he's using. We have to conserve. It's alright. Stay with him. Stay with him, whatever you do. He's going to run out of fuel on the last lap. Can all, I'll put money on it. If you have a house, put it on Hamilton running out of fuel on the last lap. And then we're two seconds behind. We're losing him. Push, push, push. This is hectic. And Landon Norris is tired of cooking. Let's just tell him to go neutral. Is he within a shot of points? Sort of. Sort of. But we're in the shot of a race win here. One of our objectives. Full focus on Daniel Ricciardo for a minute. Attack, medium. We don't need to run out of fuel because we're counting on Lewis running out of fuel. And we're on the final lap. We're going to watch on board Lewis. Run out of fuel, you Mercedes. You've pushed so hard. He's not even conserving now. There's no way this man has enough fuel in the tank to get him to the finish line, does he? There's just no way, is there? I'm waiting for that message. Oh, no, he's coming towards the end of the lap. Is there going to be enough time for Ricardo to take back first place? Right, push, 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 push. Lewis Hampton's run out of fuel. I told you. Come on, Ricardo. Come on, he's so slow. He is so slow. Look at him. Ricardo's going to come through. Surely we're going to jump back on board, Ricardo. Look at him. He's a sitting duck. Last couple corners here. Yes, Daniel Ricciardo. <laughs> Absolute scenes. Daniel Ricciardo wins the Australian GP in dramatic but predicted circumstances. It happens every race. But um, it's so funny when you can count on it happening. If you listen to my tip, you've got two houses now. You're welcome. But awesome work from Daniel Ricciardo. He's playing by the rules. He's playing within the limits of the car. And he wins his home Grand Prix for the first time in his career. And ticks off an objective. And continues his podium streak. Oh, man, I'm out of breath. That was intense. Um, yeah, Norris in 12th. You know, it wasn't his race. Fair enough. The car's not really with him. I feel a bit sorry for him. With his teammate on the podium. But, um... Yeah, what do you do? We, it's the only reason why Ricardo is up here is because he's using all the good parts. And wow, what a race that was. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. And as you can see here, Lewis Hamilton has been demoted two spots for breaking FIA rules. So even if he didn't run out of fuel in the last lap, he would have been demoted anyway. But Mercedes are trying. So, they don't like not winning races, obviously. They're cheating. I mean, they're always running out of fuel even when they were winning races. So yeah, watch out for that. There it is, Daniel Ricciardo followed by Leclerc and Max. What a podium that is. No Lulu because of a certain cheaty part, but you love to see it back on the podium yet again with my cute hat as well. And Chairman Happiness up 15%, up to 71%. If they ask me about Daniel Ricciardo's post-race celebrations, remember Spartan Willie. Do not click, the team are just having fun or else you'll lose that Chairman Happiness or you lose 5% of it. Um, no, he's far below our standards. Sorry, King Latifi, but not this time. One more home race. There it is. I just want to thank you for all the team's efforts this weekend. To win my home race is amazing. Let's hope we can get many more in the future. For sure, man. For sure, Daniel. That was one of the objectives. As you can see on screen right now, objective ticked off. Mate, if we get the best engine on grid as well, we can look at ticking that one off. And then it's just like the unrealistic ones that we didn't end up getting. That being said though, that will be all for this episode. Next up, we've got the Jetta GP in three days. So make sure to come back for that one. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, feedback, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one.